Good morning from Nashua, New Hampshire. We're here outside of the Crown Plaza Hotel with Derek J. Freeman and a group of gathered activists who are here to memorialize the loss of several ducks. This is about the ducks, so I just wanted to make sure. Um, now at the end, people are going to be allowed to speak on whatever they want. Um, so please keep it to a minute though, or less, because we're trying to respect everyone's time. And um, also, don't get run over or anything. Okay, so just to um, give a short wrap up of the situation, um, the incident. So, um, Mr. Campbell, or Honorable Representative Candle, if you will, Campbell is um, driving in the oval the wrong way. It's a one way road, the circle right over there. And uh, he's, he saw some ducks, and an unfortunate accident happened. Um, it's really a really sad accident. Um, accidents do happen. But unfortunately, he um, did hit a flock of ducks, and five of the ducks did die. So I just want, I don't want to focus on that, um, what Mr. Campbell did. I just want to focus on the ducks, though. Okay, so I was hoping that we could have just a short moment of silence right now. People don't mind. And then we have um, one candle per duck. Oh, yeah. And then we go. Only a drunken politician would ever harm these beautiful creatures. We're going to need five volunteers, one per candle. Can we have a volunteer? Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. By the way, you look nice. Okay, so I would just like to remind everyone, um, drinking and driving is not a good idea. We saw what happened based on this. Five dead ducks. You know, some people might have never met these ducks before, and unfortunately they'll never have the chance to now. But I've been to this hotel probably at least a dozen times over the last five or six years, and I can tell you I've seen some of these ducks grow up here, and it's, it's really sad that we've lost these ducks due to a tragic drunk driving accident. So I hope people keep that in mind, that drinking and driving can cause problems in the future. Um, and it doesn't matter whether you're you know, someone famous or a regular person, just drinking and driving is not a good idea in general. Now, at this time, I would like to open it up to anyone else that has anything they want to say on the issue or any other issue, I, I take it. Um, please keep your remarks to one minute or less. And then after the remarks are finished by everyone who would like to speak, we are going to go over to the oval um, where the ducks are and just kindly place the candles in the snow in honor of our fallen friends. So, um, would anyone like to speak on this situation or whatnot? 
Yeah, that's Go ahead, sir. Well, as a child, one of my favorite activities with my grandmother was to uh, watch the ducks in our backyard who would grow up and go to the pond near our house. And I n unfortunately never got to meet these ducks. I've been away from New Hampshire for the last few years, and I was here at last Liberty Forum, so it, it's possible I even saw these ducks crossing the street. I think it's very important for everyone to remember to look out for animals, and especially innocent creatures on the streets. Thank you for those kind words, sir. What? Yes, sir, you would like to speak? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think I'm gonna stop eating duck. Uh, I'm sorry. Don't drink and drive. Thank you very much, sir. Would anyone else like to speak? Um, um, yes, I want to tell everybody that uh, we used to have uh, four pet ducks before we moved to New Hampshire when we lived in Colorado. They had names and uh, my kids' pets. And my kids' feelings were very hurt when they heard about this accident. And I'm really sorry that it happened. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, I think this is, uh, this is an event that really brings about the idea that when there's a lack of personal responsibility, there's a lot of negative consequences that affect many people, not just humans, but our feathered friends as well. And uh, the ducks were very responsible individuals. You never saw them bothering people or messing with people's cars. Um, they were always just very friendly, uh, sitting in the pond. They'd eat food if you threw it to them. Um, I believe that the ducks embodied responsibility, but when someone drunkenly careens into innocent creatures, that's a lack of responsibility. And when they have their friends cover it up for them and hide them from the police for 24 hours, that also demonstrates a lack of responsibility. So I think there's something to be learned from our lost duck friends here, and if we take uh, their if we take their message home, I think maybe we can all be more responsible and learn not to be irresponsible. Thank you, sir. Would anyone else like to speak? I think it's very important that uh, we take notice of this event. After all, it's for the ducks. All right, now, if no one else would like to speak, I would thank you all for coming out here for memorializing our feathered friends. And if we could all, or you don't have to do it, but if you have a candle, if you can please where the ducks are, and we'll, we'll take a look at the ducks and honor them. Can we sing Amazing Grace as we go? Yeah, if you would like to. Derek, would you like to lead us towards the... Can sing Amazing Grace? Somebody start.
the dark body. We want truth. Dark gate was an inside job. There were no dogs. Show me bodies. Give me autopsy report. All right, everyone, thank you for coming. Um, I saw the ducks the last two days, but unfortunately they don't seem to be here right now. But I do appreciate everyone coming. You want to finish the oval? That's all I had. Just keep walking. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'm Garrett Ian. G-A-R-R-E-T. Last name E-A-N. And where are you from? Keene, New Hampshire. Thank you. I'm Kim with the Unimator. Cool. Thank you.